y'all welcome back to my channel my name is amy and today we're talking about my june tbr so first of all happy pride month this month we celebrate gay pride but i also think we celebrate this month as something of just focusing and just realizing that there is there is more to love it doesn't matter who you are man woman black white any race it doesn't matter love is love and with all the hate that is happening in the world today we need more love now more than ever and really we should celebrate love every day of the year love is a powerful thing you cannot help who you love i truly believe that and i think it's wonderful when someone finds their true love whoever it may be so with that being said i am going to celebrate my love for male male romances this month and i am going to read nothing but male male romances except for the exception of my literally dead book club pick of the month so let's get started because i have eight books here for y'all uh, that i am going to attempt to read in the month of june i also have another tbr um that i will be showing you later on during the month i believe i am going to participate in the romance-a-thon this month it's put on by gabby and jacqueline uh gabby from gabby reads of course and jacqueline from weeby booking i'll put their both their uh channel links down below if you want to go check out their romance-a-thon announcements i'll have that down below and i believe it begins june 22nd i'll also put that down below in the description box um but i do think i'm going to participate this year. I'm going to twist it a little bit just so I can include my male male romances in the romance-a-thon. So I do have some books um, to show y'all for that, but that's going to be in a whole nother video. Just wanted to mention that here real quick. All right, let's get started. First up, Galaxies and Oceans by N.R. Walker. I've been wanting to read an, another N.R. Walker book for a while. Um, I picked this one. It just, it sounded really sweet. I love the way she writes. I love her stories. Um, I Every, every time I pick up an N.R. Walker book, I end up loving it. So I'm excited to read this one. This one is about um, a guy who is coming out of an abusive relationship. And I believe he changes his name and um, he moves, you know, out of town to like this small town. And then we have this other guy who I believe has lost his the love of his life and is now lives in like a lighthouse over the ocean and um with his cat and he's just a very lonely guy and somehow they meet up in the small town and i haven't really read any much from there uh, but i'm just excited to read another nr walker next on my list is what lies beneath by rj scott first of all the title got me because what lies beneath is one of my favorite movies with michelle pfeiffer if you've never watched it I highly recommend it. It is such a spooky and creepy sort of ghost story kind of thing. I loved it. Anyway, so that's the title kind of got me in the first place. But then um, I started reading the synopsis a little bit and I realized it, it's possibly like a mystery kind of thing, but also a romance thrown in there between two guys. So according to the synopsis, we have a horror writer who is basically in a slump or having writer's, writer's block, I guess. And his manager sends him off to like this cabin in this place called Lancaster. This this book is um, a series. I believe there's it's a book of three books. Uh, it's called Lancaster, hold on. Lancaster Falls Trilogy. And this is the first book in the trilogy. It all depends on if I like this book, whether I'm gonna continue the trilogy or not. Um, but anyway, I was just intrigued. And um, so again, we have this, horror Arthur who goes to this cabin um, just to kind of retreat and hopefully get his writing coming back to him um, and then we have this cop who returns to Lancaster Falls where I believe um, a missing man case comes up or comes back up and uh, he is brought in to look over this case again and I guess somehow they sort of meet and get involved I'm not sure how the horror writer gets involved in the case or whatnot, uh, maybe he's staying in the cabin Cabin that the guy went missing. I don't know what's happening in this book. It was. It seemed like something different than I've ever read in a male male romance. It had a little bit of a mystery in there, so I'm anxious to see how this plays out. Next on my list is Finding Finley by Riley Hart. I've been wanting to tiptoe a little bit back into that subgenre um, of sub and dumb once since I read 
Sir by N.R. Walker. I think that was last year sometime. In fact, I think I read it in the month of June, uh, in the month of June last year, and I loved it. There is a 19 year age gap between our sub and our dom. Um, so there's that, and I'm interested to see how the story plays out with that. So Finley is just, he's very young, but he knows he wants to be a submissive. That's where he belongs. And um, he finds Aiden, which is, who is a dom. And Aiden takes him into his home um, to care for him. Um, you know, Finley does things around the house for him. You know, he's totally submissive to Aiden. And of course, the more Aiden gets to know Finley and the more he's in his home with him, the more he gets into his heart and in his bed. And things come a little bit more serious than sub and dom relationship. So I'm anxious to get to this book. Next up, Danger Zone. And this is by Brooke Blaine and Ella Frank. I've read some Ella Frank in the past. I believe she's the one that wrote the, the Finn series I've talked about in um, one of my... Um, trope male male romance videos. I don't know if I've ever read a Brooke Blaine. I probably have and just don't remember. But um, this is of course a series. This is book one of the series The Elite Book. Uh, and this is about I believe some, um, I don't know if it's Navy officers. Yes, new US, US Navies. Uh, so I'm gonna read you the synopsis because I don't really know exactly what this book is about other than them two maybe trying to stay away from each other. I believe they're on like opposing teams. It says, they train to serve their country. They strive to be the best, but only a select few can be. The elite. Mateo Morgan call sign Solo, reckless, arrogant, and bold. Solo is as known in the U.S. Navy for his bad boy reputation as he is for his skills as a fighter pilot. It's a surprise to his peers then when he's chosen to train and compete at the most prestigious Navy Aviation Academy in the world. Mission rules. Kick everyone's ass. Number two, do whatever it takes to win. Three, do your best to distract the competition. Four, especially when that competition is a gorgeous blue-eyed perfectionist who makes your blood run hot. Grant Hughes, call sign Panther. Discipline, smart, and confident. Panther can't afford not to play by the rules. As the son of a top Navy commander, all eyes are on him, and being anything less than number one is unacceptable. Mission rules. Number one, keep it safe in the air. Number two, prove you're more than Commander Hugh's son. Three, no distractions, stay focused. Four, don't fall for your competition, especially not the rebellious heartbreaker with lips made for sinning. In the heat of the California sun, tempers flare and desires ignite as Solo and Panther try to resist their attraction while fighting to be number one. With passions this intense, the question remains, who's going to come out on top? So that's the synopsis of the story. So I don't really know, you know, like what it's about other than the fact that they're just going to try to stay away from each other because they're like on opposing teams or whatever. But it just sounds fun. And I loved the Finn Factor stories that was written by Ella Frank. So I, that's really what kind of drew me to this book. Next up is Kalki. And this is by K.M. Newhold. I don't think I've ever read anything by this author. So this is a new to me author in this genre. It, this just sounded like a fun little series. It is a series. It's the Four Bears Construction. This is book one. It just sounded like fun. Uh, you know, one of those kind of non-serious ones. Just, just, just a fun little read. I'll read you the synopsis because the synopsis is, is fun. I don't know a better word to describe this book. It just seems fun. Ren is in desperate need of a rebound fling. Lucky for him, the smoking hot contractor he hired has just the tool for the job. The last thing I want is another relationship or another broken heart. All I need are my bees and the occasional hookup to scratch the itch. Okay, maybe meeting up with a hot contractor weekly is a little more than occasional. And maybe the way I'm starting to feel about the guy I've been anonymously chatting with online should concern me. But Kalki AF doesn't want to meet and Cole doesn't want anything serious. So what's the worst thing that could happen? And then it just goes on to say, this is a funny, steamy, male male story guaranteed to make you laugh and swoon. Absolutely no cheating and no love triangle. This series does not contain shifters. It's the other kind of bears. <laughs> and it does say that any of these books can, can be read as a standalone. So depending on how I like this book, we'll see how, we'll see if I go on to the next one. 
I was kind of iffy about this next book, but it's it sounded cute, so I went ahead and I put it on my list. This is The Life We Have by Kelsey Kingsley. I don't know if I've read anything by her either. I'm not I may have, I don't know. I believe this is a story of a uh, sort of in the closet story. He just doesn't, doesn't want to disappoint his dad. Um, but he he grew up with his mom and at 15 his, his mom passed away. And he come to find out his dad is like a famous musician. And so he goes to live with him. So it's six years later, his goal is just to follow in his dad's footsteps. And he's always kept his sexuality a secret from his dad. So when um, another guy comes into the picture. I don't know if it's a guy that joins his band. I don't really know. It doesn't really give you much detail in the synopsis, uh, but he seems to start falling for this guy. And it says on the last line of the synopsis, how can he keep the man he loves without disappointing the man he admires? I just thought that was a little, like a, a little bit of a deep story there. So I was interested to see how this would, would turn out. My last two books are going to be book of the month books, as well as my literally dead, uh, book club pick for June. So to keep it with the LGBTQ pattern, um, not necessarily male male, uh, but this is The Knockout Queen by Rufy Thorpe. I think this was last month's um, pick for book of the month, but it's a short little book and it does contain an LGBTQ story. It says a dazzling and darkly comic novel of love, violence, and friendship in the California suburbs. Bunny is beautiful, tall, blonde, with a rich real estate developer father and a swimming pool in her backyard. Michael, has, who has a ponytail down his back and a septum piercing, lives with his aunt in the cramped stucco cottage next door. Uh, when Michael is caught smoking in Bunny's side yard, he discovers her life is not as perfect as it seems. Even as Bunny dreams of standing out and competing in the Olympics, she is desperate to fit in, to seem normal, and to get a boyfriend, all while hiding her father's escalating alcoholism. Michael has secrets of his own. At home and at school, Michael pretends to be straight, but at night he tries to understand himself by meeting men online for anonymous encounters that both thrill and scare him. When Michael falls in love for the first time, a vicious strain of gossip circulates and a brutal act becomes the defining feature of both his and Bunny's futures and of their friendship. So we'll see. I believe my friend Debbie read it and she was kind of, she said she, she felt meh about it. So I'm gonna see how I feel. Sometimes we have different tastes. Sometimes we're, we're the same when it comes to books, but we'll see. And then for the Literally Dead Book Club pick of the month, it is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I hear this is uh, compared to like the game Clue Mystery or even the movie Clue. Um, this is about a wedding. It says um, the, the Guest List, an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. So I'm really excited about this one because I hear good things about it. Also, I know probably at some point during the month, I'm gonna want maybe a little break of male male romances because I remember last year during the month of June, I was like ready for some mystery thrillers. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna throw this one in somewhere during the month. So those are my reading plans for the month of June. I do have four more books on my list that I'd like to read during the Romance-a-thon. So we'll see if all this happens. I don't know if I'm going to get to all these books because that's eight books and then plus four for the Romance-a-thon. Um, but that, I'm going to do that in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. I'll put all these books in the description box down below along with everything else, my social medias. Uh, if you want to join Book of the Month, then my link will be down below. I believe it's um, $9.99 to start the month. And then after that, it's $14.99. I love Book of the Month. Uh, it's like Christmas once a month. You get a present on your doorstep uh, of books. I mean, who doesn't want that? But also let me know in the comments what you'll be reading this month. Any male-male romances, female-female romances. I have not quite gotten too into that genre. I hadn't really found something that sticks out that interests me that I want to read. But if you have any recommendations for me, please list them in the comments down below. I'd love to check them out. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope everyone is staying happy and healthy during these crazy times. And just remember y'all, more love. Just, just more love. Let's just celebrate love. Big hugs all around from me. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.